<laughs> because before I was a waiter, I was a cable technician, I was doing many, I was doing car things, I was the limo driver, I was doing hardwood flooring in Colorado. And man, believe me, like QA and working from home is the best thing happened to me ever. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back, Max. Good to see you again. Hey, Sergi. Nice to see you too. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. Thanks for asking. I haven't seen you for a while. Yeah. It's been, <laughs> it's been quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, do you want to introduce yourself? Tell the entire world who you are. Who is this great guy in front of me? Um, yeah, I can start. Uh, my name is Max. Um, I am from Russia. I moved to States about three and a half years ago, maybe four years ago. And at the same time, I took your course. Um, <laughs> yeah, I started right away. I knew IT is something I need to look my path in. Um, yeah, so uh, I moved three and a half years ago and took your course. And since then, almost right away, even before I finished the course, I found a job. And uh, it's easy, huh? Yeah, since, since then I'm working in QA. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, can you tell us what's your edu what's your education? Who are you, stranger? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I am. Well, I didn't finish my university. I uh, finished the high school uh, back in Russia. Moved to Saint Petersburg from my um, hometown. And uh, when I moved there, I figured out that 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 university is not something I was looking for in my life. <laughs> So I uh, decided to go to States and literally a year after I started my education in St. Petersburg, I moved here. Nice. Let's go droppers. I also <laughs> dropped <from> college. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> and now I'm senior engineering manager. And who cares about your education? Yeah. <laughs> as long as you have skills, as long you as you have what to do. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, tell me, who told you about, how did you hear about us, first of all? Um... So my friends uh, who live down in LA, they were taking your course. Um, they were in the first group, I think. And I was in the second group, like your second course. Yep. And uh, they just advised me. They just told me what QA is. And I was like, oh, I think I should try. Um, <laughs> so that's how I found you. <laughs> nice. So by friend's advice. Yeah. That's awesome. Most of the people who come who take our courses are friends of the friends who already got a job and they just tell everyone, they spread spread the word. And lately we started getting a lot of people from YouTube as well, probably because of awesome people like you. <laughs> <laughs> you. Great. Well, tell me, was it difficult for the person who did not even finish the freaking college? <laughs> um, no, actually, it was so the process was so nice you don't even even understand that you're learning things you think like <laughs> huh like it was easy and this thing is easy but you're repeating it every day every month every week um, whatever and then after four months five months of a course you you're figuring out that you actually know something and you need <laughs> to go to a market <laughs> that's how it yeah. happened to me <laughs> yeah there are two types two types of people First type who's always like, oh, I, I know nothing. I, I've learned something, but I, I'm still uh, I'm still not good at it. I'm not sure if I'm going to pass the interview. And a second type, oh, wow, I've just learned this thing and that thing. Oh, wow, I know a lot. And both of them go, both of them get a job. It's just that one type is always, what do you call it, yucking? <laughs> and the second type is always, let's go. Let's make it happen. It's fun. <laughs> I think I'm a mix, you know. <laughs> I haven't heard you yucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't. Yeah, you're super positive. You were actually one of our leads. Uh, by the way, we uh, whenever we get uh, whenever whenever there is a new group, we always choose for everyone else who does not know about it. We always choose one person out of five to be a lead, and then the rest of the four are working under this lead. And Max was one of our leads because he he showed his skills right away. He showed those muscles <laughs> <laughs> and those as well. Yeah. That one is most important. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Uh, all right. Uh, do you want to tell us about automation, about coding? So did you have any experience with the coding before you took our course? 
No way. Um, <laughs> as I said, I literally just graduated high school and like year of university where there was no coding at all. So the IT class in my high school, we were always walking away from it because mm-hmm. the teacher was not not the best <laughs> one. We could just tell, hey, man, just walk your way. We're just <laughs> Not like so, okay. <laughs> no, not this guy. This guy does things interesting. Uh, but yeah, I was never on IT class. You could never see me there. So <laughs> same thing. I did not enjoy it. By the way, sorry if my teacher is going to see it. I po- sincerely apologize. It was just not a good time for me to learn anything <laughs> when I was in school. <laughs> <laughs> same, same. <laughs> Droppers. <laughs> Droppers. <laughs> That's awesome. So you had no experience. You've learned automation, and did your first job include automation, or did you did it include coding, or was it pure manual testing? No, it was automation right away. Um, so I had both. Uh, so I was doing both manual and automation on my first job, and that went pretty well. I actually enjoy automation more than manual. Uh, in my opinion, manual positions are boring because you do the same thing all the time. Um, but on automation, you just dip in. <laughs> And you you put all your head, all your mind in the code. And I can like sit there and write code for like eight hours straight and not leave my room. Whoa, that's nice. You yeah. are a coder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's great. So yeah, that's definitely your thing. Same on my side. I like automation more than manual, but there are people who like manual and yeah, I mean that's great. <laughs> yeah, but I think automation pays better, right? Yeah, um, I would say like 30, 40% more than manual. I think so. <laughs> yep, yep, definitely agree with that. That's awesome. When you took our course, did you come yourself or did you also bring a couple of friends with you? I brought friends, of course. Nice. Yeah, I brought my friend. I brought two friends, actually. Yep, and yep. Um, one of them found a job like a week after me, so he also didn't finish the course. Uh, <laughs> found a job at Amazon, actually. Oh, wow. It, was he a dropper as well? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were studying together in St. Petersburg, actually. Oh, nice. Did you guys both drop simultaneously? <laughs> yeah, we moved to States at the same time. We dropped <laughs> the university at the same time. We found the jobs almost at the same time. So. Jeez, we're going to record a video with that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and another one, it took him, I think, about one or one and a half more months to find a job. But yeah, he also got it. And nice. I don't remember the company, but it was some startup. Nice. Easy peasy, money yeah. squeezy. <laughs> 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 That's great. So yeah, sounds like it was fun. It didn't it didn't take a while. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, geez, I don't even know what to ask you, dude. It was, it was so easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what was the most challenging part of the course? Let me ask you this way. Um, well, challenging part, I would say for me at first, it was kind of hard to get to coding. Like, I don't know why, but I, uh, when I started with HTML, I was like, whoa, whoa, (laughs) that's something new. But then I realized it's just like English. When you learn English, you just learn things and then you get to know it. Like one girl comes out of another. So once I figured that thought in my head, it like went straight. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. We're going to cut it out and put it on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good phrasing. Awesome. So you get a job. The HTML was a little difficult. Uh, okay. Let me ask you a couple of questions that we're going to start asking everyone, uh, every person who bring on an interview. Uh, why are you so awesome? <laughs> 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 um because i know my thing uh, <laughs> <laughs> um you just gotta be positive that's it once you're positive you can reach your goals and that's it that's for sure 100 percent agree with you great uh next question uh what is the difference between those who get a job uh compared to those who never try or fail um well people who never try or fail they just I think they don't try enough. Like to get a job, you need to try to get a job, right? Exactly. <laughs> and if you're not trying, it, it, ain't no one gonna give it to you. So. Exactly. Yep. Just like in relationships, if if you sit, it's sitting at home, no one, you're not gonna meet anyone. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. If you're not doing your shot, then you're not gonna reach the goal, right? 
Exactly. Exactly. Nice. Uh, all right. Then so we'll ask you about a difference. Um, any, anything that you would change if you would come back in time or anything you would like to advise to people who are about to start or think of starting? Change? No, I I got a good advice from my friends who finished your course before and I was following it. Just do your homework, do extra stuff, just like try to get into this a lot. Like put your head in a QA and in a four month, even in a three months, uh, mm -hmm. you can get a job. Nice. How long did don't, it take? Don't skip classes. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. I don't think you skip even one. <laughs> uh, what I was going to say uh geez flew out of my head all right never sorry. mind <laughs> sorry no problem let's move on to the next question uh so we've got what's awesome we've got what sets apart uh people uh when we've got your advice uh what was your favorite part of the course that'll be the last one because everyone has a different favorite part what do you enjoy the most i enjoyed the moment we started doing like actual automation uh-huh uh, cool. not, not the started when we did it for a couple of weeks and, <laughs> and you already understand something and you start doing it all the time. You're like, bro, can I, can I please automate something? Just <laughs> asking for extra job for extra stuff to do because, because it's cool when you like finally understand, finally understand something you were learning and mm -hmm. now you're into this just like language like once you start speaking english you enjoy it a lot i don't know why like or any different language you learn yep yep exactly you go to cafe you're like hey how's it going tell me <laughs> there you go yeah so my favorite part is when i learn something and i learn how to use it and boom nice <laughs> all right and the last question from the list of five that i have um was there a time when you wanted to quit was there a time when you, when you thought, oh, it's too difficult, it's not for me, or you had a doubt? For me, um, no. You're too awesome for it. Never mind. No, I, I was, <laughs> yeah, I was good. Uh, I mean, <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I didn't feel that I want to quit because I knew that's a good opportunity. And looking back on my friends who already got their jobs and who, who went through this, I was like, damn. Am I worse than them? No, like, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. Um, I never even had a thought to quit. <laughs> nice. That's like uh, Eastern European thing. Like, yeah. am I worse than someone? Why can they do it and can I not do it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That's a good thing to have. <laughs> All right, I honestly ran out of questions too quickly so we're gonna have to finish early and get a dinner <laughs> yeah i guess it's time uh what what is it in seattle yeah it's evening <laughs> <laughs> is the sun, sun still out yeah it's still out but it's already <laughs> yeah rain's still pouring so <laughs> awesome uh well do you actually let me ask you one more question do you enjoy your current job and did you enjoy all of your jobs because a lot of people, they, they have doubts like, oh, maybe, maybe it's too boring. Oh, maybe I'm going to sit all day next to the computer and I'm going to be falling asleep and, I, and I'm going to enjoy it. What if it's not my thing? Yes, I did enjoy every of my, uh, every of my QA, every, each and every one of <laughs> my QA jobs. Because before I was a waiter, I was a cable technician. I was doing many, I was doing car things. I was the limo driver. I was doing hardwood flooring in Colorado. And man, believe me, like QA and working from home is the best thing happened to me ever. <laughs> nice. We're also going to cut this one out and put it on Instagram right now. <laughs> okay. Have you already worked remotely from somewhere else in this field? Not yet? Oh, in this field? Yeah, yeah, in QA. Have you worked remotely from from the beach? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I was uh, going to the car auctions and I just brought my laptop with me and was doing my work on the road there. So, <laughs> and then I took a lunch, looked at the cars, dropped, dropped it to the car and kept doing my work. That's awesome. <laughs> nice. And one one funny thing for every, uh, for people uh, to know that when I bought my last Tesla, I was riding from Miami to uh to la on tesla and i turned on autopilot and i was working <laughs> i mean 
police probably should not know about it, but I was working <laughs> <laughs> buying <laughs> seed. <laughs> that's pretty much how I did. That, that's awesome. All you need is your cell phone with a hotspot and laptop. That's it. That's awesome. Exactly. Thanks God for the QA. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, Max. Max, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for your positivity. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've made a lot of people smile and laugh and think about changing their life in the in a different ways. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, I hope I help someone to uh, straighten their mind. Let's go, positive people. <laughs> Let's go, droppers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Max. Nice seeing you, brother. You have a wonderful evening. Yeah. Take care, man. Bye.